Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show, and I've got someone on the other side of the planet. We had a little bit of a challenge getting connected with the, the time difference there, but his name is Red and the last name is Ramen. Yes? Yes, that's correct. That was my dad's nickname. They used to call him Red because his face used to get real red, so his name was Red. His real name was Lloyd, but they called him Red. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my full name is Red One. It's a red one, uh, so it's red, the first three letters of my name for short. Yeah, keep it that way. It's just like real easy to say, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I appreciate you being on my show here today, and it's, uh, it's fun meeting people on the other side of the planet, and I saw in some of your profile that Same you're here. an affiliate marketer, and you also help people with social media and things like that. So how long have you lived where you live right now? Well, uh, I was born here. Uh, I've been here for uh, practically my whole life. Uh, I spent a few years actually uh, in the U.S. in Canada. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, uh, in New York, actually. Uh, I don't know if you visited there. Uh, I was there so, once. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a very hectic place. Uh, I, was, I lived in Toronto, uh, in Canada. And, you know, uh, after coming back here, <laughs> Uh, I did my undergraduate studies in marketing, so that's when I first got the, the exposure to marketing. Back then, uh, about uh, 2010, you know, uh, some of the social media sites, they weren't quite active here, like it is in other countries, but you know, in recent, recent years, uh, there has been a great uh, increase in the number of internet users and social media penetration which is definitely uh, a, good, uh, a good metric, uh, as well as for other countries uh, in, in the neighboring areas like uh, uh, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. These countries are also increasing their penetration and uh, this means a greater business for both companies and individuals to show off their products and you know, uh, basically increase their business and get their presence online. Yeah, and your culture has really grown up in this tech world. I know that there's a lot of big corporations, like you ever heard of Cargill Corporation? Yeah. yeah. They are based out of here, right, in Minneapolis. And they hire a lot of people from India and, and those areas to do the tech stuff. So somehow you guys, your, your brain is wired differently than some of us. <laughs> yeah, there's a huge uh, outsourcing industry uh, in, you know, in India as well as here in, in uh, Bangladesh, uh, it's, it's growing, it's growing uh, exponentially. You know, mo many companies, they're realizing that uh, instead of, you know, getting local uh, labor, they can have the same exact uh, skills for a fraction of the cost, you know, the education, uh, the standards, everything is the same. It's just, you know, due to the difference in location, uh, there's the cost factor which obviously, you know, as businesses, they're, you know, most businesses, they're focused on profits first. So, uh, you know, considering, considering that, you know, the, 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 the fraction of the cost uh, that they would, they would have to spend on, you know, going for uh, outsourcing, uh, it's, it's very attractive for those companies. Yeah, I, uh, I had spent some time in Bali, Indonesia, and I had a place yeah. there where the guy had a homestay bed breakfast place to stay and he said I could stay there for $60 a month including breakfast and then I was going to market his homestay to the tourism industry to get people from Japan and Australia and the UK to come to his place and he was going to give me a big bargain for that and very very affordable and I had a plan to pull together a, I was going to retire there till I got married <laughs> I was going to retire in Bali and uh, I was going to get all the yoga years ago was that Oh, probably seven to 12 years ago. That's when my oh, plan yes. was. Yeah, no, not that far. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, well, did you, did, uh, has did you do some? I, I, I actually visited Indonesia once. Uh, I didn't go that, uh, that far. Uh, uh, I went to you know, the, the northern part of Indonesia. Uh, so, yeah, it's a heavily uh, tourist-dependent country still now. But Bali, uh, from what I've heard, it's, it's become a lot more congested than before. 
it's one of the most peaceful places on the planet I've ever been, though. It's very, very, yeah. feels very, very safe and very, very kind. You become more of a tourist trap as of late. Yeah, it get very popular and it's a small island. It's only 90 miles by 50 miles and they have a volcano and it's very small and like right in the center of Ubud and um, uh, I think Phuket, no, not Phuket. Um, Phuket is in Thailand. Yeah, Phuket's in Thailand. This is called, uh, yeah. I can't remember what the, there's a real touristy place in Bali and that's where a lot of people go. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to you. So you do some affiliate marketing also? Yeah, I do some affiliate marketing. Basically, uh, the it, it's it's a you know sole operation. My uh, business is called Frontier Freelancing. I started back in my university days. So uh, back then, I, I you know on the side I did some freelancing. Uh, you know during my free time. So I used to focus on uh, mainly uh, copywriting and blogging. Sure. So I decided to create my own blog. Uh, I'll provide the link to you later. Uh, so basically the blog initially focused on just uh, copywriting, how to develop your copy, how to improve your, your, your article writing, uh, and then slowly uh, it branched to other topics like SEO. Then uh, you had digital marketing, social media marketing. So you know, after I started studying on those subjects, uh, I became more uh, of an expert on those and I started writing on those articles. And over time, uh, I, I uh, expanded to other topics as well, like affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is definitely uh, one of the easiest ways to earn income online uh, because uh, there's no investment for, for those who sign up. They, they, they join a company who has an affiliate marketing function, they join, and all they have to do is, you know, have a platform where they can uh, promote the company's products, whether it be their own social media, if you're an influencer, or if you have a website or blog, you can just show up the company's products there. And based on, you know, uh, the people who are visiting your, your uh, platform and clicking on the links, you can either receive a, a, a compensation either from clicks or from, excuse me, from clicks or from uh, people who actually uh, buy the products uh, yeah. after visiting uh, the, uh, the said company's uh, website. So basically that's the gist of affiliate marketing. There, there's no uh, risk involved. Uh, and basically uh, you're rewarded for how much traffic you're bringing in or you know, how much sales you're getting based on your, your own unique affiliate link. So that, that is uh, you know, the biggest affiliate marketing uh, platform today is definitely uh, Amazon. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of people who are using Amazon and, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the challenge with Amazon is they cut their commissions yeah. so much. They yeah, it's become a huge, you know, at, at one time it was, you know, it, affiliate markers could potentially make millions of dollars from Amazon if they had the right infrastructure, uh, website or blog or whatever. But nowadays it's very tough because, you know, it's become so saturated. Yeah. Uh, so close for other websites like uh, ClickBank and Commission Junction. These are all very big <laughs> affiliate marketing. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of other companies. What's happening now that I've noticed, I've heard a lot of big brands are going towards an affiliate marketing model and using people like us, like affiliate marketers to promote their products. And I just recently yeah. uh, heard a friend of mine that lives in San Diego. He does builds out funnels and landing pages and everything. And he's working with yeah. realtors that are doing real estate developments. And in San Diego, they're going to make it mandatory. Now, I just heard this. I don't know if it's true, but they're going to make it mandatory that they uh, install solar on these developments. So he's got an affiliate network uh, uh, set up with a solar company. And he said that he can earn up to $10,000 US commissions by getting a, a development. A to implement the solar because you know, that's a lot of money in solar so now it's yeah. no longer these little digital programs on clickbank and share a sale you know earning you know ten dollars on selling a little pdf there's real big companies that are using the affiliate model so if you i also found a company that uh, does uh, private jet um, rentals you can lease a private jet and if you can yeah. hook that up that's a sizable commission 
way bigger than these 20 or 30 or $100 commissions that some of these other things are doing. So the world is changing right. really drastically. Exactly. So basically, these are called you know high ticket affiliate marketing programs. Yeah. Uh, there aren't many of them, and uh, for most of them, there aren't you know generally available to the public. Uh, usually, the it would involve people in the know that you know are aware of these programs or get referred by others. But the thing, uh, what you mentioned is you know most companies if they if they try they can definitely start their own affiliate programs. I mean, there's very little risk for both yeah. companies and, you know, the people who are actually promoting to start on affiliate programming. Probably all day, the only thing they, they would have is basically, you know, monitoring and maintaining their, the system, which would be, you know, uh, marginal compared to the, the potential benefit brought by, you know, uh, third party independent promoters who are selling the products. Yeah, it's basically just a tracking software. Like I use Kartra, which is kind of like ClickFunnels. So I use yeah. Kartra and then there's also in more depth, there's like Post Affiliate Pro that sets that up for all the different affiliate. Right, I mean, they don't even need, need to maintain their own infrastructure. They can, you know, uh, get a third party software provider like you mentioned, yeah. uh, do the monitoring for them. And it's people uh, like you that have the understanding how to hook all that stuff up. Cause I'm 63 years old. So my brain doesn't quite function <laughs> that way. So I have to really try oh, and figure it out. You guys just do that. Uh, based on, uh, based on the limited time we've been talking, you're very knowledgeable about everything. About I, I've marketing. been in it for a long time, but I tell people I can get like about 80, 90% and I can't hook that last uh -huh. gear together. And it, sometimes things just don't, it, it takes me some time sometimes to figure it out where the younger generation like you guys, you just kind of bam, 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 bam. I remember I had a guy that uh, got into my back office for Kartra and he understood it and he just set it up so fast because you guys understand that. So that's why I think it's sometimes it's good for people, you know, to, from these big corporations to outsource to people like you because you understand it and you can do it so fast. Right, yeah, sometimes there might be, you know, a technology gap or, you know, knowledge gap not for everyone. I'm sure, you know, if you can spend a bit more time, maybe you can, you know, learn the ins and outs, but you <laughs> seem to be a very busy guy. <laughs> so, I, so, uh, I try and simplify as much as I can and take out as many of the, like, like these videos, I do them raw and real. I don't really do a green yeah. screen behind me or any fancy dancy stuff. It's pretty cut and dried. And then I just get it up to the internet and let the internet do its thing with the keywords. Like you talk about the SEO, and then when people type yeah. in there looking for help on affiliate marketing and your name comes up, that's how it works. And I do it videos like this because now we get to see who you are, that you're a real person, that you have some knowledge and you're not somebody just screwing around trying to pull money out of people's pockets. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, you know, the internet, it's a, it's a very mysterious, it's a very huge uh, environment. So obviously it's better to show that you're human you know, to show that you have a human touch and connect with your audience exactly. that's very important especially nowadays well i'm super glad that i connected with you because i don't have that many connections i've got a guy over in south africa another guy in the uk i used to work with in australia but it's good to know other people in other areas that have other expertise and so now that we're connected um Man. what i do with these is i pop these up to youtube and then i embed them on some blogs and things and then what I'll do is I'll put your yeah. links. You give me your website and all that. I think I found it, your Facebook page. I found your Facebook page on uh, just by searching around. That's how you find it. And I will put those right. links in this too, so that if anybody ever sees the video and uh, then they can find you. And if, uh, if you could share it too in your networks and that's what spreads the love. Yeah, definitely. Once you upload the video, then uh, I'll be sharing your video to you know, our network. And, you know, obviously, uh, hashtags is important here as well yeah. as, you know, uh, the uh, proper description. Maybe if you, uh, I, I don't think you do any editing, so the, the, that wouldn't be required. So basically, you know, the thing about these type of podcasts is, you know, it, it's, it's a mutual game for both, you know, the person who's hosting the podcast and the person who's, you know, getting invited. That's why I look at it. It's not about getting more pieces of the pie. It's about making a bigger pie. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Red, I'm not going to take uh, too much more of your time here. I appreciate you staying up these late hours and uh, I will get this up and I'll beam it off to the universe 
and then I'll get you a copy and I do it within an hour. I, I can work kind of fast. That's great. So I will get it off. Is there anything else you want to say before we go? How do we get a hold of you? Your your name name. Well, uh, you know, as I'm in the digital marketing arena, you know, it's not too easy, too difficult to get a hold of me. Uh, I'm uh, I actually met Brad through Twitter, so I'm also active on Facebook, Pinterest. Uh, I also have LinkedIn. I run my own blog, and uh, I have a few other you know lesser known accounts like uh, WebChat and mix uh, it was previously about stumble upon i don't know if you use that you know uh basic shortage of ways to contact me and if you want to go more, more traditional there's also e there's always email or you know even uh face to face if anyone wants my number that's the way to do it eventually my background's in the event industry it was all about events until this covid thing happened that's why i pivoted back into the online world <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's presented an opportunity for you, definitely. Okay, Brad, I appreciate you taking the time. I will get to work on this, and uh, peace. All right, same here. Thank Take you. care, Brad.